Hello everyone, welcome to my video and I'll be talking about my custom made uh, Transformers Age of Extinction Dinobot Scorn yeah. So, as you can see, he's all silverish Yep Looks really really cool and a little too big for my camera angle Yep I left some red because that's my preference here. Oh, and he fell. Yeah, he has a very very weak leg. Yeah, I put some blue tag uh, inside his leg. Try to hold him. Yeah, uh, no, but it's kind of useless. So, I think I did a quite a good job over here. He really really looks just like. Like uh, more similar to you know, his color looks more similar to the one in the movie, Age of Extinction movie. Up, yep. as you can see, this is this is just it. Yep. took me a week to get him done. It's not that hard, you know, just paint here, paint there. No no airbrush, just uh just normal paint. Painting him. Yeah, loving the details. Yeah. Over here. The claws, yeah. Right there. Okay. He's hit. Right here. Try going his head, his his body right here. Let me just show you. Yeah. He looks awesome. Okay, so uh that's just it. And now I'll go into his robot mode and his leg just came off. Okay. <laughs> And here he is in his robot mode. Looks very different from his uh, Spinosaurus mode. I'm using my wallet to uh, <laughs> to support him. Otherwise, he's gonna he's just gonna keep falling. Yeah. See, look at the spines over there. I left some of the red at the spines. Thought it'd be cool to do so. His, his uh, inside of his tail. Yeah, not entirely silver. Very, very nice mold. He's hit. Just bring it up. There we go. So this is Scorn. Now he's just, okay, now he's, now he's sitting down. <laughs> he's just sitting down. Chilling. Waiting for me to start this video. I added a little bronze at his upper body. Otherwise he'll look too silverish. After that, uh, to end it off, to end off the customization, I I added black. Very little bit of black to dull down the colors. Okay, so let's look at his head. Right here, his head. Time to focus. There we go. Now his eyes may have some silver. I can see it. Oh, his leg just fell off again. Yep, right there. Very, very nice details. Shining. And uh, right here. Go down here, okay. So, basically, that's just it for this custom I've done. Oh, left some red in here. Yep. Oh, and uh, just now when I said paint, oh, okay. Um, I hand painted him, and the paint you have to use, yeah, you, you have to use a uh, um, those paints especially used for figures 
Uh, Tamiya can you you can find Tamiya paint or otherwise um, you can find Valijo brand of paint. Uh, let me just show it to you guys what the paint looks like. In case if you you guys want to customize transform it yourselves. Oh sorry forgot <laughs> forgot add this his dagger. Yep. Rare right the handle. And silver, silverish at the blade over here, some black. Very, very nice, uh, nice, uh, nice job the paint did. Okay, now I'll just show you the, the paint I use. Okay. This would be the bronze I use. Valijo bronze model color. See the brand's name, Valijo. Okay. And liquid silver. You want the metal kind of look, which is like this. Use this. Valijo liquid silver. Works wonders. Okay. Um, this is not all the paint I use, but. Just examples of the brand. Now the black, okay. Perhaps I can tell you all about the black. Black I use is this black right here. I didn't have gunmetal. Uh, I got glossy black, which I use just very little bit to darken him. And in case if you guys um, are looking for gun, you you want gunmetal color, but. Um, but apparently you cannot find gunmetal black paint itself. You can perhaps uh, mix the silver and the liquid silver and uh, this glossy black to get it to mix. You just mix it together to get the gunmetal paint that you want. There we go. Valijo. Okay. I think uh, quite cheap. Doesn't cost too much, and there are, I think, uh, plastic bottles, so you don't have to worry about about breaking breaking them, spillage or this kind of thing. Yeah, so it's just like that. Okay. As for this, let me shake it. Oh, and almost forgot. If once you're done painting. Well, once I'm done painting, I, I apply this thinner medium, uh, thinner medium. Protects the paint as well as the figure from being damaged. Yep. And that's just it of my trans. about talking my custom made transformers right here. Scorn. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, please like it. To so that I'll know and give some suggestions on on uh, by commenting your opinions uh, and suggest what else should I do um, to improve my customs perhaps and thank you for watching.